What would that be? Mm. Yep. Brave, young Jewish. Humanity. Writer, curious, heroic. Wow, that's lots of answers. So we already have hundred we have 200 answers coming in if you were to stand exactly in front of Prinzengracht number 263 so the address of um, this house you will see the front part of the house but you will not see the back part of that house just some boxes some cases storage and up here a map of the kingdom of Belgium to cover the top part of the door today there is a glass plate on here, so you cannot actually walk through here, but the museum route takes you through this door. And finally, it will take you through the secret revolving bookcase to the actual annex in the back of the house. Now, something really important to keep in mind when you see this space is that this is a really unique view that we get to have right now. And the main reason for that is that if you were to go to Amsterdam, right now and go into the Anne Frank house, you would not see any of this furniture. The current museum is completely empty of all furniture for a few reasons, but primarily because it's what Otto Frank requested. And that request has been honored to this day. He wanted the space to be left empty the way that he found it when he came back after the war. Can somebody tell me what is there that makes you think, yeah, this looks like the room of a, of a teenager and also reminds me of my room when I was about that age. Yeah, Wyatt. I mean, probably all the pictures. Exactly. So all of these pictures actually were put on the wall by Anne Frank. Anne and the people in hiding had to balance multiple realities that were true at the same time. Right. And so two of those would be one being in hiding. It's awful. Right. They can't go outside. They can't see their friends. They can't be loud. They can't joke and yell and scream and be free. Right. So that was such an incredibly challenging life to live for two years, over two years. But at the exact same time, it's also true that they were really, really fortunate. They were fortunate to have a bathroom. They were especially fortunate that they were able to be together. Why would people help Anne Frank and the others in hiding? What do you think? Save innocent lives. It's the right thing to do. Because they may not agree with the Nazi movement. This is their form of resistance, exactly. Now, this wardrobe here, this is another really cool thing about this virtual tour, is that if you went to the Anne Frank house today, you would not see this here. And the reason is, like I mentioned earlier, this has been changed to create a walkway. So the, your tour of the Anne Frank house would actually continue here. And I'll show you quickly what this looks like. Like I mentioned, the staircase that you would walk up to get into the hiding place. Is